this video, we're going to cover how to use the import range function in Google Sheets when you have multiple sheets in one workbook of similar data and you want to import those multiple sheets into a new workbook into one single sheet so that they're displayed vertically one on top of the other. So you can see here in this example, I have a data set of inventory orders and there are multiple tabs for each day of the week that each of these different orders occurred on and what we want to do is import all of these sheets into a new workbook into one single sheet so on a new workbook before we dive all the way into this I just want to show you some of the basic syntax for the import range function so we have the first argument, which is our spreadsheet URL. That's just going to be the address back on our orders workbook. So up top here, I'm going to copy this. And since we're pasting this in manually, it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. So don't forget that. Second argument consists of the range string, which that's going to be both the sheet name that you want to pull in as well as a range reference to the range on that sheet you want to pull in. So again, we're going to enclose that in double quotes. Our first sheet name was April 12th, 2021. And I need to end that with an exclamation point because that tells Google Sheets, hey, this is a sheet reference. So now we just want to pull in the range. So I know it was columns A through G. For now, I'm just going to keep it simple. I want to just pull in all the way down to the fifth row. So I'll hit enter and you can see it pulls in that data. So we want to do this but for all five of those sheets. So I want to show you a quick example of just bringing in two sheets and some problems you might run into when you're doing that. After that, I'm going to show you a more efficient way to bring in all five of the sheets at once. So the import range function outputs an array. An array is something that's more than one single cell of data. So um, since we're going to be doing more than one import range function for our multiple sheets, we need to nest them in something that can handle array outputs. So we need to nest this within curly brackets. So that's where I'm going to begin with a curly bracket in front of our first import range function. What I want to do is copy this because all we're going to change is the sheet reference. And we can separate our different array outputs in two different ways within the curly brackets. We can separate them so that they're displayed vertically one on top of the other which is what we want so we would use a semicolon in that case you can also display them side by side horizontally which would be a comma as a separator but we want vertical so i have a semicolon there so i copied this first import range pasted it into our second array here and I'm just going to change the sheet name. Now don't forget to add the ending curly bracket or else this won't work. So I'm going to input that and you can see we separated our two array outputs by this semicolon so it displayed them one on top of the other. But there are some things I don't like about this. One, there's a blank row between the two and secondly there's multiple duplicate headers. Because on our different sheets, we have different s amounts of data, you know, it's an unknown. We don't always know what our last row is going to be. We would probably always want to select a range of A1 through G to make the column end of that infinite. But we don't want to bring in blank rows, and this will bring in blank rows. So what we need to do is nest both of these within the query function and tell it, hey, filter out anything that is blank or empty. So what I want to do is escape out of this and start from scratch because in addition, what we're going to do is rather than pasting in that 
other workbook URL, I have it here in the cell and we're just going to use it as a cell reference. So we're going to begin with the query function and then our curly brackets because the first input is the data we want to query off of, which is going to be our multiple import range array outputs. So I'm going to begin with import range and rather than go click and copy the URL again, I'm just going to refer to cell C1 because we have it there. I also have cell references for our different sheet names over to the left, so I'm going to refer to those as well. So that's A2 for our first sheet, and then I'm going to use the AND symbol to join that to our range reference that we want to pull in from that sheet. So this time, I want to make the column infinite. So I'm going to do A1 all the way to column G for the entire spreadsheet. And in the next input of our query statement, we're going to say don't pull anything that is blank. So we only pull in the values. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to add a semicolon to separate our next sheet. And we're going to repeat. I'm just going to change our sheet cell reference to A3 and for all these next sheets I'm going to change our range from A2 to column G because we don't want to pull in the headers. So I'm going to add a, another semicolon on the end and then I'm just going to copy this and all we have to change is our sheet cell reference. So this is going to be A4 A5 and A6. And don't forget the closing curly brackets and then a comma and now we're back into our query statement. So we have our second input which is the select statement. I want to select all the columns so I'm going to select star but in our where condition we want anything in the first column, which I know there's always going to be values somewhere in the first column that are not equal to nothing or blanks, which is two single quotes. Keep in mind that because we created these multiple arrays in our first argument of our query function, we have to refer to the column number rather than the column letter. So keep that in mind. So we're to our final query input, which is the number of row headers we have, which is one. So you can see this pulls everything from our multiple sheets all into one single sheet with the data one right after the other vertically. So that is how you can use the import range function along with the query function to pull in multiple sheets from a different workbook into one single sheet on a new workbook. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.